Hi, I'm Jim with Roth Sugar Bush, and today we're going to talk about the CDL vacuum filter. So this is a very nice little device. Um, we have a thermometer that is built in, comes with the kit, so that we can keep track of our syrup temperature to make sure that we are at the minimum temperature for bottling syrup. We have a draw-off elbow on the bottom along with the discharge valve uh, to let the syrup out of the container and fill your bottles. On the bottom side of the vacuum filler, our floor is recessed. It's tapered, so it's a total drain. You can use this on a stove as well to maintain temperature for bottling. So this is our vacuum inlet valve. So we're gonna close our vacuum inlet valve. We already have our hose adapter installed for supplying vacuum with our shop vac. So we're gonna go through the assembly. We have a rubber gasket that goes into the vacuum chamber. We have a mesh screen that sits on top. For today's application, we are going to be using an Orlon disc, which will go on first. We are using a pre-filter that goes on second. We are going to put our cover on. And what we're going to do is we're going to secure our latches. So we're going to open these up. We're going to snap them into place. Once the latches are latched in place, we're going to close our vacuum valve, like I said, off. We are going to make sure our syrup valve on the bottom is turned off. And what we're going to do then is we are going to turn the, turn the unit around for this particular application. Uh, we are going to hook up our shop vac to this hose barb, which is just a simple slide-on connection. We have a very small shop vac. I believe it is a half-horse, uh, one-gallon shop vac. We do not need a very large shop vac to uh, put vacuum on this chamber. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill it full of syrup and we're going to turn a vacuum on. So for today's application, we are filtering some dark syrup. Um, we do have DE powder added, added into the syrup, just a very, very small amount. What we're going to do is we are going to pour the syrup into the top of the vacuum filter. We are going to turn on our shop vac. We're going to open up the vacuum so that we apply vacuum to it. We draw the material through the filter. Very quick, very easy. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to knock apart the filter just to look at the pre-filter to see the material that we took out of the syrup. Most of our material is going to be caught on our pre-filter. You can see that there's a, a little bit of DE powder on the filter and then some other material that we are filtering out of our syrup. So we will take and fill a sample bottle from the bottom of the filter and we will compare it to our filtered syrup. Left has been run through the filter and this is what our syrup looked like prior to. You can see kind of that, that hazy non-clear sample versus the crystal clear sample after the filter. 